All right, so this weekend we decided to do something a little bit different, but not really. Uh, we have passes to all the SeaWorld parks in Florida, so Aquatica, SeaWorld in Orlando, Busch Gardens, and Adventure Island in Tampa Bay. So this weekend we decided we were going to go and check out the Busch Gardens Summer Nights. So what it is, is it is on the weekends, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and they have fireworks and a laser show. It starts at 9 p.m., and they also have some little food kiosks, which is really cool. So um, some barbecue, some barbecue food items. Like we had this brisket sandwich; it was amazing. Um, they had these cupcakes. I wasn't, you know, cupcakes, cupcake. So we didn't try those. Um, and then the summer margaritas. Oof, the spicy strawberry one, really good. And the reason why we really wanted to go is we had, from earlier this year, a sample lanyard from the Food and Wine Festival that Bush Gardens put on. And I have a ton of punches I didn't use. So you could use those punches here this weekend. So it's two punches for one food item or one punch for a sample size of the um, specialty alcohol drink that they have. So it was a pretty good deal. Uh, Brian ended up getting <laughs> two of these sandwiches because they were so amazing. Uh, the other thing is, you'll see in the video, we got the margaritas, but they were the full-size ones. And that was because I actually have a platinum pass, so I can actually go to any park in the country that's owned by SeaWorld, Parks and Entertainment. And uh, one of the perks that they gave us because of the shut or gave me because of the shutdown was two free um, beverages. So I used them on the margaritas, and oof, they were... They were very, very good. Now, you still need your reservation, so that's always important. Um, so you still have to go online and get your reservation for the day. And then, of course, you either have an annual pass or a park ticket. But we were, we were very pleasantly surprised. We went later in the evening, um, and you'll see some video clips with some crowd levels. It wasn't too crazy. Um, but... I definitely would suggest getting there early later in the evening we actually got there you'll see the ground is wet um, it had just rained so I think a lot of people had left and you'll see the park is basically a ghost town except for you know of course the ride waits so people were waiting in rides versus walking around the park so let's go ahead and get to some actual videos from the park this is the area that you see right when you enter the park so we had a bunch of people leaving. It had just rained. And as we're walking, I mean, we are one of the very, very few guests that are entering the park. And you can see on the ground the different social distancing markers. Uh, these are for at the end of the night when it gets really, really busy and people are taking the tram back to the parking lot. And again, as we enter or start going toward the uh, security check. We have, of course, the COVID warnings. You have the lines on the ground still. And in Busch Gardens and SeaWorld, all of the 2020 merchandise is 70% off, 70% off. T-shirts, mugs, water bottles. Uh, I actually went for the sweater and uh, it's really actually pretty high quality. I really like it. These are uh, these Bush Gardens um, cups. If you go to Bush Gardens or SeaWorld, you can use them to get the 99 cent Coke refills, which is really nice too. So yeah, I only paid 12 bucks for that sweatshirt. And at the end of the video, you'll see it on me. You can kind of see to the right, your mug. They had like an Americana line of clothing out as well which was pretty cool for a fourth of july right there and they are selling these gators and they are super super thin so we do not think that in any time they are going to stop allowing the gators to be worn in the park because well they're selling them in the park plenty to choose from and they are certainly certainly thin So after we went to the store, we decided to start walking down. We went past Iron Gwazi 
it's so close to being done. They do have people back out working on it. And we were the only ones in this entire area. There's nobody else around except for a couple employees that you'll see on the right hand side. So again, you really do not have to worry about social distancing at this park because there is nobody around. Now, most people are going to be in the lines, like I, like I said, um, but as far as walking around the park, there's not much going on. And we're going to continue down, and this is where you'll find all of the food stands. So the brisket chop is amazing, 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 amazing. Highly recommend. Brian had two of them. I had one. <laughs> and uh, we did use our little uh, samplers. So there's the sandwiches. You get chips with them. And we are actually in the Coke bubble. Now I'm walking over to it so you can see the menu. And uh, here in the Coke bubble, they have, or I think they call it the Coke pavilion. They actually had a steel drum band, which was really cool. So they had different show times. And they also served food as well as drinks here. So we went for... I like margaritas, so we went for the margaritas. They had a bunch of different hot dogs at this one. And the margarita they had, they had a spicy strawberry jalapeno or a summer lime fresh. The spicy strawberry was not too spicy. It was pretty good. And we got really lucky because we were there when the band was playing. And here we are walking through again there's just nobody there and these are the times that are really special because you can really appreciate all of the details that go into these parks that you wouldn't normally see on a busy day when you're dodging people it was just a really nice night the biggest thing was even though it wasn't too hot after that rain the humidity was very very high so just make sure that you do bring an extra face mask. Even if you're using the cloth ones, an extra one is a really, really good idea when you're walking through the parks. And I just love that view. It's one of my favorite views in the park. And of course, we finished the night with the fireworks and the fireworks show was amazing they had fireworks and lasers and it was about seven minutes long so there was different music playing in the background I am muting it just because I don't want a copyright strike but it was a full seven minute show so I highly highly recommend coming here Friday Saturday or Sunday night so that was it. We really are looking forward to going again. Um, it's going to definitely be a weekend thing for us. And I wanted to show you, this is actually that 2020 sweatshirt and it's a, it's a really good quality. So if you are into sweatshirts, I know it's, you know, it's the middle of July, but it's, it's pretty good. So I would definitely recommend purchasing this as your commemorative item. And I also wanted to show you that this is the food and wine sampler. So you can see the holes that have been punched out. And I still have, I still have six left. So I'll probably get three, three brisket sandwiches, honestly. They're really good. All right, thanks so much for wa watching. And if you like my videos, if you're interested in the parks, but mostly, mostly real estate, to be honest, um, definitely go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button as well. Thanks so much.